Hey guys, today we're going to learn about downloading files from a URL using Python. So let's open up this terminal and this other window over here. Now um, you, you see in this terminal I'm in a directory called test2 and uh, over here in this uh, finder window I'm in a directory called test2, same directory, right? Um, anyways, so I have this little guide on the, the right side here. If you, if you want a link to this guide, just check the description of the video. Just find the link in the description. Um, it'll bring you right here to our page where we show you how to do this. You can copy paste the code if you like. Um, just to make things a little easier. But um, So there's two ways you could do that, two main ways that we're gonna cover. We're gonna cover using requests and wget. So two different ways. Um, I actually initially tested this on Linux, so I'm not sure if the Python distribution I have on this Mac that I'm recording on today has wget, but it should have requests, and we're, we're going to give this a shot, um, see how it goes. Um, we'll probably get it working one way or another. I mean, definitely the first one. So um, let, let, let's start off by creating a script. So current directory only has this one file. Um, we're we're going to just get rid of that. All right, so no files in this directory. Create a new script. Um, let, let's call it download.py. Now, inside this, I'm, I'm just basically just going to paste what I had over here. Um, this is the full demo, exactly what I wanted to cover for today. All right, so this first line up here imports requests. Now, this requests is uh, that this is basically just going to give you everything you need to do HTTP requests and you know pull things down. Now. Um, this next line, we're basically taking a URL, the URL we want to download. So we're going to download the Python logo, and it's a PNG image file. So we're just going to download that image. This is going to be easy to verify and stuff. We're going to so we're going to save the URL to a variable called x. And now we're we're going to call requests get. We're going to call the get function from requests, and we're going to pass the we're going to pass the variable x, which is our URL. We could have just put the URL right in there, but um, it, we didn't. Anyways, we're, we're going to do that and we're going to store the results in a variable called R. Now, um, we're going to open a file. We're going to say with open. We're going to open a file called logo.png and we're going to open it with write as binary because it's going to be binary because it's an image, not a text file. And we're going to open it as F. So F is basically your file handle. Now, your file handle, so within this loop, um, it's not, not not a loop, sorry, but within this, op this is just a way to open it. You, you, you open this file, and within this block, I should say, once this block, once you exit this block, it's going to automatically close the file handle for you, so you don't have to close, you don't have to remember to call close. So it's, I guess, one less line of code. Um, anyway, so using the file handle f, you, you call a function write. That's, that's a function of f, um, and you pass a value to write, you're going to pass r.contents. So remember here, r was the value that was returned by requests um, by, by this get function up here. So basically, you, you, you take r, and if you want to find the contents that were actually downloaded to this variable r, basically requests downloads the value, and it saves the whole thing in r. Now, it's going to have details about what you downloaded and stuff, but um, essentially, R has a property called contents, and that's going to contain the actual contents of the file you downloaded. So you're telling the file handle to do a write, and you're telling it what to write. You're passing a variable telling it what to write. That's going to be the contents um, of R. So you're basically the contents of the file that you just downloaded. So this line up here is what actually downloads the data, and this line right here is the line that actually writes the data to a file on your hard disk. So this one's pulling it off the network. This one's writing it to your hard disk, um, if, if that makes sense. So anyways, um, that's that's a, that's a about it. That's what it's doing. Um, you know, writing to the file we specified up here, logo.png, and, uh, you know, write as a binary. All right, so let's save this file. You know, write, write and quit. Now, uh, let, let's just execute this file. Now, currently, we see we only have our download script in this directory. And right here, we can confirm that over here. So let's just run Python 3 and download. So I'm, I'm, I'm explicitly saying Python 3 because I, I also have a Python 2 on here, and Python 2 is default for whatever reason. In any case, um, we're explicitly just telling it Python 3. So run Python 3 and run your download script. 
and um, module not found. Um, no module named requests. All right, well, that's interesting. So um, it looks like this module is not installed by default in this Python distro that we have here. So let's try installing it with pip. So we're going to say pip3, um, not to be confused with uh, you know pip2 for Python 2. So this is the pip3 version. It might be default on your system, so you might just be able to run pip. But here we're explicitly specifying pip3. Um, just just you know be aware of the, the version differences. So we're, we're going to try installing requests. You, so this is actually good that this came up. Hopefully this solves someone else's issue when this comes up for someone else. And there we go. Select successfully installed. All right, so let, let's see if this works. So we've installed we've installed uh, re the requests library with pip3. Now um, let's try running our download program again. And we can see nothing is in this directory except for our download script, right? So let's run it again. Looks like no errors this time. We can already see that logo3 is here. If we run an ls, we'll see we now have logo3 in the current directory and we have logo we have our, or rather, uh, just logo.png. And we have, uh, let's open it up here. Here's the Python logo. So that's nice. Looks like we were able to download the Python logo using our download.py script. So only, only slight little hiccup was uh, not having requests there by default, which is kind of strange. I was actually a little surprised by that. But I, I guess that's fine. No big deal. Um, you know, easy solution was just do pip3 install um you know pip3 install requests and that installed the library for us now um yeah and you, you might want to do that in an environment we're not covering environments today but that that would be another way you can do that um i feel like i should just point that out i'm going to try to update this doc to, to mention you know installing here we say you know pip3 install wget in case you don't have it well in case you don't have requests do the same thing for requests i'm going to put a little note here about that um but for now, let's uh, let's look at our download script. Um, let, let's create another one. Um, vi download 2py Now we're, we're going to download the exact same thing, but we're going to use wget instead. Now this is going to be a slightly simpler, and I'm, I'm kind of expecting this one to not be here, so it's going to give us an error. I'm almost certain. So we're gonna use wget, right? And um, you know, we, we take our URL uh, basically as a string, same as we did in the previous script, assign it to x. Now we're, we're basically gonna call wget download. We specify the URL, which is what was saved in x, and we specify the location where we wanna store this file locally, which is logo.png. Now um, this takes, th basically this call will write the file. It downloads and writes the file for you all in one shot. Now requests basically downloads the file, keeps a bunch of data about it, and you have to actually write that to a file yourself um, using like an, and you, you get the information that's in the file from a, you know, an attribute of that, of what you downloaded. A anyways, it was a little bit more complicated using requests, using wget is a little more straightforward. Um, let's save this. Now notice we have two, two scripts in here now. So a little bit neater output, sorry. So we have download, download two that we just created with wget and we have logo. Let's remove logo. So now we, we only have the two scripts. So we, we have our two scripts in this directory. You can see the same thing over here. Let's download the file using download two. Um, all right. And we're expect remember we're expecting an error here. So Python three download two. Yep, no module found wget. So let's solve that real quick. Hopefully this works. Pip three install wget. And there we go. We've downloaded wget. Pretty easy. Um, now let's try. 
Well, let's let's verify. See, we still only have the two scripts in this directory. So let's let's try running our download to script. Download to, and look, it gave us this. It was almost instantaneous because it's a tiny file, but it gives us this little ticker thing showing you know the status of it. Um, but there we go. Looks like it downloaded it. We can, we can see the file here, logo.png. You can see it over over here in this window, logo.png. You can see it downloaded the same Python logo. So there we go. That's two different methods of downloading a file using Python. And that's uh, how to get the libraries installed too if you don't have them. So there you go. That is uh, yeah, how, how to download a file from a URL in Python. So hopefully somebody finds this, uh, this uh, quick little video useful. Um, I, I probably went on for way longer than I need to. I probably could have done this video faster, but in any case, hopefully you found, found this useful. Uh, might want to give me a thumbs up. Might want to subscribe to the channel. We have a ton of great other content we're covering, some, some Python stuff. So we're doing servers, electronics, Raspberry Pis, all sorts of coding things. A lot of interesting content you might want to stick around for. So yeah, you might want to subscribe, hit the bell icon, but also leave a comment down below if you know something I don't know or if you have any questions, criticisms, anything you want to say, I probably want to hear it. So do leave a comment. And um, as always, Thanks for watching and we will see you guys next time.